Listen, I don't have any problem with any masculine teaching a feminine how to be or how to manifest or attract their husband, Adam. Okay, I have no problem with that. The issue comes in with the fact that they can't give you a view like this. Them being in a masculine body cannot tell you from the standpoint of the experience of the feminine. And then likewise, we have other teachers among us, you know, and shout out to everybody, you know, trying to get their bag or whatever it is. But there are many who speak on things that they know not of. It's many who speak on things not from a place of experiential knowledge they're just repeating but you imitate someone not to become them but to figure out what is it about them that makes me feel more like myself and then you become that person i digress but the point is when you're a follower of the way and you're a teacher out here, you know, so like you may be, um, you may be prophetic, intuitive, clairvoyant, whatever we want to call it, someone that is a healer, someone that is, um, you know, leading a company of people by example, someone who is saying, hey, you can pay attention to what I say and what I do. Someone who says, I mean, I'm not like perfect per se but each step of the way I'm attaining perfection and so there had to have been something perfect there and then the next step something perfect there everything is built step by step one step after another that's how you do it one step after another and so when you are following someone like myself, you know, as I continue to evolve in uh, my revelation of being the bride, then you are getting experiential knowledge, even though I'm not a wife in the natural, I am a wife. I'll be a wife when I'm found in the natural. I don't just become that. Again, you know, you, if you hear my videos, my other videos, I talk about the world's way of manifesting and that's how it's done. It's this mindset of, oh, okay, when it shows up. No, when it shows up, it's late. When it shows up, it's like, wow, mom and dad, I missed that one again. I must have wasn't paying attention. Because when we're followers of the way, we're seeking it in the kingdom in the right way. And so we know it's added. And so when you watch my videos, you are getting experiential knowledge from a wife. That's what I want you to understand. From a wife who is being prepared as a bride to be given away from uh, her father, right? And not only am I this wife, but then I'm in a woman's body. So then you're getting that feminine aspect too. And so I just, you know, I really wanted to do this video because like, honestly, I want, I, I'm like, I never show you guys like these incredible views. <laughs> I mean, these views are... I mean, oh my gosh, like, let me just get away to the mountain. Let me get away to the mountain. The mountain. The mountain's so close. I looked over and I've seen the mountaintop and it 
came to the middle of my skull like a crown. And I knew that it was all a dream. And it can either be a sweet dream or a beautiful nightmare. And so, yeah, I wanted to show you guys the view and give you some Cali-ish. But I also wanted to address what some people have been saying. You guys know me, you know, I, um, I'm really good at maintaining my peace. I'm really good at being about my father's business. I'm really good um, just with doing the meat, the will of the one who has sent me here for such a time as this. And if you are a Christ being, if you're a follower of the way, if you're a chosen one, if you're a kingdom citizen, if you're of the Christ mind, then you get what I'm saying 100%. And so I don't indulge in feeding energies that I don't want to grow in my experience. Instead, I just pay them no mind. So that means I'm actually feeding, paying them to be in my mind. You ever heard that expression where people are like, don't let someone take up rent space in your mind for free? So these motherfuckers ain't even staying for free. Now you 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 paying a motherfucker to be in your head and it ain't worth it? Uh-uh. Mm-mm. That would be like a Eve, Ruth, and Esther curse. Where'd I do that at? I ain't seen it. And so, like, yeah, that's why I choose not to indulge in those types of energies or whatever. But... When the I am tells me to speak up, I'm gonna speak up because I know that somebody needs to hear it. And so like, people say things um, that distract others from getting the deep core revelation of the messages I bring to the other wives. To the sister wives, we all carry the spirit of our mother, the Jerusalem above that is free. And all of the husband Adams or Boazes, you know, I like a lot of the people who do the, you know, you on Boaz, not his cousin Poaz, a stupid ass, a, you know, um, trying to fuck you in the ass. What? What? You know, I mean, you know, or, you know, pussy ass. <laughs> so, I digress. But yeah, like, obviously my thing is Eve, Ruth, and Esther. Because, again, I am bringing this revelation to the feminine. To the ones that are going to be brides. It's a reason why in scripture the Christ. So the man, the King Xerxes, you know, King Asuerus, your king, right? If you're the Esther type, your King David, if you're the Bathsheba type, if you've been following me for some time, you know, I touch on all of them, right? Because everything in scripture, everything that is scripted by those who came before us, our ancestors, for us to have here in you know 2022 years later everything scripted is relevant it's beneficial it's profitable let's just take a moment and just digest that part of the word that manna we just received right there amen ashe put that in the comments amen ashe and so The spirit of who is going to be in the bride's husband is Christ. 
this video would be so long if I started talking about Christ. You, you have to watch some of my other videos because I cannot mess up my makeup. <sighs> my lashes get to sticking together because I'm like, you know, crying because I'm so happy. He brings me joy when I'm down, like so much joy. And when I lose my way, his love comes smiling on me. I saw his face and then I knew <laughs> we would be friends. I was so afraid, but his eyes, they said, come to me. You gotta check out one of my recent videos. Um, I think I, or maybe it hasn't been released yet. I don't know um, when my team is gonna be dropping it, but I talk about, um, you know, shifty eyes. Motherfucker that can't look you in your eyes. Bitch, why you why you can't look me in my eyes, man? Cause they can't look themselves in their eyes. Cause they ain't starting with the man in the mirror. Okay, so to keep it short, um I had to have this part of my story as the bride because that's the part of the story we see with the Christ but there are parts of his story that we don't have it continues on obviously there are parts of his story that are clearly missing you know we see him born then he's 12 and then he like 30 and he done had three different names and it's like who is this nigga who is this nigga now what what you 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 what is it what you call it you know ain't that Ain't that Brandy, brother? You know, like, niggas don't be knowing, you know? I mean, but that's the art of a magician. That's the art of transformation. That's the art of the scorpion effect. That's the art of abracadabra. That's the art of, do you believe in magic? Black girl magic, magical-ish, you know? I love that about Christ. I love how he was disappearing. And then he would show back up and then they would be like, where were you? We were looking for you. And he would say, I was there. And then they'll say, no, we looked for you, but then we couldn't find you. But then we looked for you and then you were found. And then he disappear again. And then their eyes are open and their hearts burn is that that feeling but so anyway i'm gonna address all of you believers who follow these teachings about he who finds wife um, for this cause shall a man leave his father and mother um, who followed the New Testament teachings where you know Apostle Paul our ancestor is repeating uh, the God man Jesus Christ you know who's repeating our Papa you know whoever said it I don't know if it was Moses or whoever um, but you know the last two brilliant minds that said this ish was Singo but you don't have no problem listening to what they have to say, right? Because it's 2022 years later, so you don't have an opportunity <clears throat> to place a false judgment on them. You don't have an opportunity to, you know, be super far away from the tree and try to curse it. Like, the main person that you're basing your whole relationship kingdom goals on is a motherfucker that the last thing you got written of him, he wasn't even with his bride. He wasn't even with her. Okay, so 
That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody else coming their own name and then it's like, oh, you want to receive them. I don't come, I don't speak on my own accord. What, because I'm single like them, like the great teachers, you got a problem? Oh, that's it. So let me end it with a reminder for all of the Christ beings, for all of the followers of the way, for these ones that pursue the narrow path of abundant life, for these ones that are pursuing perfect love on the inside. Yeah, 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 chosen ones. In the world, not of the world, chosen ones. Woo, glory. Gods and sons, kingdom citizens, ones, ones, ones. Let me let you know something that you already know, but we overcome through these gentle reminders. That's all this is, just a gentle reminder. The reminder is, because I'm going to come through to remind you. You know, Electra B is going to come through to remind you, but okay. <laughs> but so let me remind you, right? Like, okay. Oh, oh my gosh. I didn't do. Oh my gosh. Okay. So great. Let me remind you. The student isn't greater than the teacher. We are students of Yeshua HaMashiach. We are students of Jesus Christ. We are students of the way. Mind you, this is earth school. Check out some of my Matrix videos if y'all know. Um, but yeah, so like, that's how they played our everlasting father 2022 years ago. So I wanna let you know, chosen one, what is being established right now cannot be torn down by man. The door that is being opened right now cannot be closed by man. I want to let you know that the enemies that you, the enemies that you used to see, because that's the thing, if you ain't paying them no mind, you don't see them motherfuckers. If you're not in someone's face, you're only seeing them in your, your imagination. In your mind, don't pay him no mind, baby. Honey, don't pay him no mind, baby. Pay no minds, pay no minds. Okay? If you're going to pay a mind, you pay your own mind. The great teacher told us, one of them. I mean, it's so many of them. It might have been Les Brown, I'm thinking of, who talked about, like, the graveyard being the richest place because of so many people leaving this experience being in the natural capacity to bring what only they could bring i mean from your frame to the way you say your name to you know how you play this game all connects the same and only you can bring it while it's day. Only you can. And so, cradle to the grave. The way has already been paved. I'm telling you, tomorrow's not promised. You gotta do it today. Tomorrow's not promised. You gotta do it today. Tomorrow's not promised. Tomorrow's not promised. Tomorrow. Forget about tomorrow. Sufficient is the evil. You know these evil niggas out here be lurking. <laughs> they be lurking because they be hurting. And hurt motherfuckers hurt other motherfuckers. So, look, if you ain't a hurt motherfucker and you healing motherfuckers, then you better make sure, you know, when you step into that darkness, you experience a duality where you, you also stepping back into the light where you can be around like-minded people. People where they pay their own way. And then what you give them is extra. And so... I just want to send some encouragement to anyone who is experiencing um, any harassing online. 
um, that is of the Christ mind. I want you to know that the harassing online is just because now we're not in the space and time that we used to be in where they could, you know, get around and, you know, all it, we would have to rewind. And that's the Bible times. And so, yeah, but anyway, all of that is fine. I am Electra B and I'm all about that perfect time. Follow me as I follow Christ.